All right, so in the last lecture, we already uh, were able to input stuff to our database, right? So now, uh, let's go to the post and view all posts, and we are able to see it right here, as you can see. Now, what I want to do on this video here is to include a link on the right-hand side here to be able to delete some of this information. Um, all right, so... First, let's go ahead and make this available here on this link since it's not working right now. So let's go to the navigation and uh, inside our includes in the admin area, navigation, and let's add it right here. So let's say, what is the link here to go to the add post? We actually need to send a request. So edit. Actually, the name of the is post, right? And the request would be source equals add post, right? So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's check that out. Oops. All right. Come here and we say actually we yes that's fine add post oops uh, we did this the wrong way we need to add the PHP of course right here in front PHP there we go what was I thinking well um, or what was not well all right whatever <laughs> let's add post right there as you can see we get that all right available to us all right I got a stumble there a little bit so on this one here let's add the edit Actually, it's not going to be edit. It's going to be delete. We want to delete some data. So we need to go to our post right here. All right. So where are we going to be, be making that request? Well, let's go from the top to the bottom, right? Let's make that request on this same page right here. And what I want to do is, is I want to check if something is set. Um, I'm going to do something, right? So, as a matter of fact, it's not even here. Sorry. It's, we need to go to view all posts. This is where we are, right here. Silly me. View all post. There we go. And this is where we're going to be catching that data. Great. We don't want to have much information in the post section right here. This is just going to do some of the switching for us and that's it as a matter of fact we could make another file called delete and have that file delete but we are not going to do that so let's do it right here somewhere I'm just trying to decide where we have the select post let's do it down here somewhere at the end of the table so that way we keep that code separated right how about that so PHP tags and let's check for a submission here so if it's set all right if this is set and what we're checking is for a get super global right a get request and we're gonna call this delete and we haven't made this yet but we will right now all right let's check for that first let's include a link right here at the end of this and this link is gonna say delete. I'm gonna show you that link in a minute there. All right, so the link is gonna be right here. href. Let's close it. And let's open it right here and close it there. All right, and this is just gonna say delete. And if we go to our UO page, we can see the link right here. That's going to delete any of these posts right here. All right. And we need to delete this stuff here, but I'll, we'll do that later. Right now, let's concentrate on this. All right. So, all right. So we got this delete. Let's send it some information. 
So we're going to send it to the same page, view all posts dot PHP, and we're going to send it in. some information and the information will be delete delete if I can get it right that would be nice delete equals what what do we want to this to equal the post ID right here of course there we go and we can close it in this if we wanted to alright so let's go to it now and let's check it out so we click this, it's going to take us to another post because silly me forgot that this is going to be here. We're sending it to view all posts instead of sending it to posts.php. All right, there we go. Click it, perfect. We got this delete one there. So we're going to delete one, we're going to delete two, or we're going to delete three, right? All right, so let's make the query for it. Now that we are catching it right here, let's just say something for it right here, just to check it. Hello. Click it, and we get, we see the hello right here in the bottom. All right, so that's working, and what do we want to do? Well, the first thing that we need to do is convert this into the what? What is this? What is this coming? This is the delete, right? So we just say uh, post. That's the post ID right here, as a matter of fact. But we can just call it just to differentiate from the top, the post ID. And we can say, let's do a query. And we already have this query probably somewhere in the category section, but I'm just going to make it it's really simple to do it anyway. So let, delete from post where ID where post ID actually that's the name of the field inside our data ba uh, table database table equals what this one here all right so you can close this too if you wanted to and then we're gonna send a we're going to send this query. So it's going to be the delete query equal my SQLI query. I'm going to send it in with a connection, of course, and the query. All right? So once that's done, that's it. That's all we got to do for this. Um, I think we're good. All right, so let's check it out. Oh, another thing we might have to, but that's fine. Let's let's just do it like this. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to delete this one. All right, I'm going to delete this one. There we go. So it's working, right? We don't want to delete all the content because we need more content, right, to edit. <laughs> so on the next uh, lecture here, we're going to be talking about how we can uh, edit some of this and um, and keep going with our course. I think it's doing is 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 going great. What do you think? All right, perfect. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next lecture. Take care.